McEnroe. We're pleased you've joined us at Wimbledon. Andre Agassi off his incredible championship at the French Open. The number four seed against a long shot qualifier, Australian Wayne Arthurs, 163rd in the world, but he through three qualifying matches and three in this championship has not once lost his serve. Big left-hander. And you can see why by that big first serve. He's got a nice easy motion. He's a big guy and he's lefty. I guess he doesn't really like playing lefty. So. It'll be interesting to see how long it takes Agassi to break. Arthurs is 28 years of age, raised in Melbourne. But he's lived here in London the last year and a half. Classic Agassi already with a scoop shot from the baseline. Arthur's shocked to see that ball drop over his head. Top spin lob winner. The way Agassi's playing, nothing should shock Arthurs. Arthurs bombs in the first ace of the match. And his 76th at 127 miles an hour. So 75 aces in his first three matches. So yeah. averaging 25, that's big time. And he, and he consistently hits second serves well over 100 miles per hour. This guy's got a very, very good serve. He so happens to be playing the greatest returner in the history of the game. Connors may argue that, but takes the first serve. Doesn't take much of a back, so we've seen that thousands of times with Agassi here. Agassi would like a short afternoon, and an early break of Arthur's might help him on that path. Don't want the long shot, the qualifier, a man not familiar with Grand Slam surroundings to build confidence by keeping uh, Agassi at bay. Good serve and volley. Well, he's a classic serve Ooh, volleyer he's in the Aussie mode. And you can show, see he has some good quickness in net. He beat Tommy Haas the previous round. Haas beat Agassi here last year. That's a big win for Arthurs. Also beat Nicholas Lapente, who's a talented Ecuadorian. And... Whoa. No one, in, 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 in my opinion, in the history of the game, sees the ball so early the way Agassi does. And you think you hit a big first serve, and then you watch the return go by you. Arthur's was a full stride behind the service line when that one whizzed by. Oh, Maybe an argument to mix up your speeds, because sometimes the harder you hit it when you're playing Agassi, the harder it comes back. You're not in position. Plus, you got to try to mix it up with Agassi. Us. Good job there. Into the body, a different spin. Arthurs with only a couple of tournament experiences all year before Wimbledon. He played Tokyo, lost in the second round. Came here at Queens, the grass tournament prior to Wimbledon. He lost in the round of 16 to Pete Sampras. Well, he's a double specialist, Dick. It's good to see the effort paying off, and he's becoming a challenge on the singles court. That's what you want to see. You want to see these doubles players trying to play singles event, not just settling for doubles only. That was an epidemic in the early 90s. Game Arthurs. And with an ace, Wayne Arthurs holds. We're underway. The round of 16 at Wimbledon. The Championships, Wimbledon. Brought to you by Honda. A winning lineup of fine quality automobiles, motorcycles, and power equipment. By Adams Golf. Leading by design. And by Morgan Stanley Dean Witter. We measure success one investor at a time. And welcome back. We're live. The players have been called back to action at court one. A delay of a bit over an hour. Still some patchy clouds. Uh, there is some rain in the distant forecast. It's going to be that kind of day. This is much more typical uh, yeah, British weather. <laughs> <laughs> Last week was extraordinary. Uh, just bright, cool air, sunshine every day. Andre Agassi. Uh, it surely has been a bright summer for him with his win in France and now in the second week of Wimbledon looking for another Wimbledon championship. He 
won here back in 1992. He's 24 and 6 on the year. Not not the conditions, Dick, in all honesty, that he'd like. It's a little bit tougher to return serve. Andre Pavel, he demolished first round, who'd been a finalist in grass the week before. Guillermo Canas entertaining backcourt match and had a bit of a hiccup against Martin, but won that in four sets. Wayne Arthur is one of two qualifiers uh, through to the fourth round of the men's draw. Lorenzo Manta of Switzerland, who upset Richard Krejcik, a former Wimbledon champion, is playing Gustavo Kirtan today. He's the other qualifier. Arthur's a very tall left-hander, and he's at five all. And you can see a singles record, six and three. He's really not played much all year except for doubles. Well, he's held serve now, including this, 103 straight games. He's been involved, as you see, in some very close match matches. Santo Padre, you see uh, all of them, the Pente High. Nine. He's only broken serve twice. So, he's, you know, you can see that actually he's quite match tough. He's been involved in some extremely close matches, three matches in the qualifying. So why not get the ultimate test, Dick? Play the greatest returner ever and, and Andre Agassi and see what you can come up with. And so far, he's held his own. He had one break point at, at, at two all. He, he was down. He bombed the big ace up the middle. And uh, he's been able to hold out so far to five all. No breaks here in the opening set at five all. Arthur's with the five aces to add to his previous 75. Agassi, of course, for those of you who haven't been with us in our coverage in Paris or here in London, winning the French and accomplishing the rare four Grand Slam package. Only the fifth man in history to win Australia, well, Wimbledon, the French, and U.S. Typically, Arthur comes out with the big first serve, 15 love. He's trying to become the first player since Bjorn Borg in 1980 to win the French in Wimbledon. Give you an idea how tough it is to win both. And Borg did it five times winning Wimbledon in a row. He doesn't have a grass court game, so. There's ace number 81. Three, three of those five, he won the French as well. So uh, that's a pretty, pretty solid record, you have to say. Put it mildly. Amazing is a closer word. Agassi has to hope Arthur's with that uh, very clever and tough serve will help him out with a double fault now and then, but pretty accurate. But not too agile at the net. He's big and good reach, but not uh, quick of foot. Yeah, he looked a little sluggish there. That's true. He tried to hit the topspin serve. Agassi not fooled into the body, got enough on it, and Arthur's way too late there. That, that is unhittable. And, and the other part, Dick, is it's tough to read where he's serving. He's shown a second serve slice that has taken Agassi beyond the tram lines. There's the taste of it. And Arthurs continues to bomb aces. It's 6-5 on serve. Back at Wimbledon on this cloudy and somewhat uh, wet Monday. Andre Agassi serving here to force a first set tie break and that's of course uh, as you saw Arthur's record. He's the king of tie he breakers sure at Wimbledon this year. You better believe he's going to try to get on, in off Agassi's serve. That's an unusual approach but you see he put pressure on Agassi. Agassi's feeling a little heat because he probably figured he'd break the serve by now already. This is a complete miss it but yet it bounces fairly deep Agassi still should have made that forehand rather easily that's a, a tight looking one for Andre Arthur's by the way uh, Dick you said it 11 out of 12 he's won tiebreakers including the qualifying and now he's two points from winning the first set double fault for Agassi gives uh, Arthur's his best chance to break you better believe he's going to come in here Of nope, course, he stays back and breaks the return. That's a little inexperienced because if I were him, I would have come in on anything at that point. Make Agassi hit the pass. Agassi, uh, after the rain delay, having trouble with that first serve. Wow. 
And two set points for Wayne Arthur. Agassi does not look loose yet. There was nothing on that second serve, and Arthur's just destroyed it. Stepped in. Look where he is. He's a foot or two inside the baseline. Made that look easy. 13-14. Agassi realizing, Dick, you better get a first serve. In. Arthur's at 28 as a year younger than Andre Agassi. Another set point. And another second serve. Showed some good experience there. He didn't go for too much. He used both of them. He kept the ball low. Like, look, look at this forehand pass. He doesn't go for a winner, but he makes it very difficult for Arthur's to handle. So a uh, scare late in this first set. Double break point down. He's survived that. They got his feet moving there. Usually when things aren't going well for Andy, you see him rushing. And he's really rushing between first and second serves. He needs to settle himself a little. That's a good way of getting some confidence. A point now from the tie break. Game Agassi. Well, Arthur's territory. Once again, another tiebreaker. Uh, Agassi hopes uh, that this isn't uh, Arthur's court. <laughs> there is a tiebreaker. You thought about that last <laughs> night, didn't you? <laughs> That's too good. Oh, an early mini break for Andre Agassi. He stayed with the serve. That was a big serve. Arthur's hit that volley too short, and Agassi got down beautifully. Textbook backhand winner up the line. There, it's good. Good to see Andre slowing down now. Taking his time, making sure he's ready for this point. Still having trouble with that first serve. And the mini break one, one back by Arthur. One all. See, that's where it's trickier for Andre. The court's a little bit wet, and that ball really skidded and stayed low. You really have to stay down with that. That's what I'd like to see him do. Go more at Arthur's forehand, because he's not going to be able to slice it that way. Two, one, I guess like he did the previous point, gets an error from Arthur's, one, two. Quite a story, uh, Wayne Arthur's. At the end of 97, he was ranked, get this, 1,102. He played a lot of satellite events uh, in 98, uh, one in Perth and Thailand, and raised uh, his rank to 138 at year's end. Oh, he got, got tight on that ball. That looked like a qualifier there. Agassi guessing right. See, that one he should have put away. He didn't. Agassi hits a reasonable passing shot, but Arthur should have put that away. Now Agassi with the lead again. Three points to one. That was uh, <laughs> not a good-looking surf. Let's hope the sun was in his eyes. Sun breaking through. Or he's choking up a storm right now. I guess he's showing that he's a little tight as well. Agassi. Didn't do anything with that return. Go back to Agassi, sir, with a 3-2 lead. Well, the weather the rest of the afternoon, it'll be one of those unpredictable days. It's just a matter of where the clouds want to go. They could totally race around and uh, leave us alone, or we could be hit with a small shower again. Biggest serve he's hit today comes at a good time. Switch sides at 4-2. Take a look at the numbers through this first set, John. Well, neither player is hitting a particularly high percentage of first serves. Arthurs looks to be playing well. He did have a couple of break point chances. He's been a little tight in this tiebreaker, and that's what's cost him so far. Agassi still, to me, hasn't really gotten going. That's surprising. Arthurs plus nine in winners. Oh. 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 
Ouch. Third double fault, and the lead has gone with it. So each with two breaks here in the tiebreaker. To Arthur's serve now at three points to four. First time we are, if we've not mentioned that he's ever even played Wimbledon. What a debut for Wayne Arthur's. Does have five career doubles titles. His claim to fame up until this point. Wow, what action oh. on that second serve. So he can slice it out wide, but he can also kick it, hit that topspin second serve, or he can do a combination or flat. So he's got a very tricky serve, and he's lefty. So uh, it's difficult to practice that. Most guys are righty. Make sure that you get out there with the lefty the day before and the morning in your match to get some feel for that spin. Five, four, Arthur's. Good job by Arthur's there to win those two points. And here he is at 163 and rising, including the three wins here at six and three. And we mentioned his first ever at 28 Wimbledon appearance. How exciting it must be for Wayne Arthur's right now. One of the many terrific stories of this Wimbledon championship. And this is competitive. I mean, this is, he, he, he's shot at winning this first set once again, five just all. over hitting that backhand five all. Don't forget he had a couple set points already. Agassi again struggling with that first serve right around 50 percent. And another set point for Wayne Arthurs. Guarantee is the best back in he hit today. It was Agassi who ended up chipping and coming in. Arthurs who hit the solid pass. Set point for Mr. Wayne Arthurs. His third time the charm for this, this big this lefty. This time he's got to serve. Big difference. The other two came at 15-40, uh, 30-40 at 5-6. Uh, yeah. And Wayne Arthurs following his form. Gets you into a tiebreaker and collects another set. Sun shining now at court one and Wayne Arthurs. One of the many uh, dark horses that have made it to the second week. He has held his serve consistently. No breaks throughout the championship. He's now recorded 83 aces, and he's up a set against Andre Agassi. Agassi could use a few of those easy first serve points. Apparently in for a fight here in his round of 16 match. Very effective play on the grass, going behind your opponent just like it is on clay. Arthur's looking sluggish there. Oh, en route to perhaps his easiest service game is Agassi to start this second set. in his ninth Wimbledon against a man who is experiencing this great grass court challenge for the first time. Well, sooner or later, and I hope it's sooner, Agassi's got to find his range. He still has not settled down. Now his down is set. He needs to pick it up here. And I know that he's thinking the very same thing. 
That was a beautiful forehand there. Just poor footwork, didn't get backboard in time and paid the price. So from 40 love to Deuce. See, he had the time to get his body weight moving forward, and he got a little lazy there. He hits the ball well anyway, but Bad he didn't need to do that. Once again, a first serve gets a three point. Arthur's, by the way, Dick, lost in the doubles with Andrew Kratzman to Renneberg Stark, 7-5 in the fifth. That was the second round, so he's out of the doubles competition. So the net forward goes to Agassi. He holds to open the second set, but it's Wayne Arthur's with a set lead. Wayne Arthur is showing his serving prowess at Wimbledon, 104 straight service games, including his three wins in qualifying to get into the main draw, and he's won 12 of 13 tie breaks. Up a set, serves Love One. 15 he used the 22nd seed in qualifying. <laughs> you talk about a long shot who looks like a dangerous player on this surface. Boy, he's serving reminds me of Kevin Curran. Remember a few years oh, back? I remember him all too well. One of the biggest servers that the game had in the 80s. Went all the way to the finals. He beat uh, Connors early uh, that year. He destroyed uh, yours truly as well in the quarters. And Boris Becker, the youngster, 17, upended him in the final. It's going to go wide and long. He clearly has some zip on his serve at 128. That's up with the big boys. He just wonder if when and if uh, I'm assuming when when Agassi finally does break him if the dominoes start falling yeah, yeah, he starts yeah, yeah. breaking him consistently. He holds it love not a taste for Agassi in that game as we remind you for up to the minute scores and stats visit the official Wimbledon website www.wimbledon.org and IBM eBusiness remarkably uh, Arthur's with that big serve double folding only one time thus far in the match as Agassi serves 1-1 15 so including qualifying, he's won 17 sets, lost one, and in 12 of the 17, he won in a tie break. And that's phenomenal, big play, big points. Match, tough, toughing them up. Big time play by Arthur's. A little bit of footwork by Agassi on that point. Yeah, if I were Arthur's, I wouldn't get involved in too many of those type of rallies. That only helps Agassi's confidence, and he's be lucky if he wins any of them. Get that big body into net. It dropped in. Comes in between the legs. Yeah. <laughs> Andre aware that he's up 40 love in that game. It's the moment it went up, you could see he was angling for this shot, trying to do a replay of the French Open. Except the problem is that ball doesn't bounce as high, and the ball must hit the ground before he had struck it. And he had to actually change his pace and rhythm to wait for the ball. He actually had a, a better play. Oh, he had about three better plays. Engaged. Holds, nevertheless, 2-1 on serve in the second. Wayne Arthurs with a first set tie break, leading uh, Andre Agassi, who has uh, confirmed his place, a rare place in history, joining Don Budge, Roy Emerson, Rod Laver, Fred Perry. Perry, the last Brit to win Wimbledon. Uh, three straight, 34, 35, 36. Been a long drought for... The English uh, fans, sure that's why they're so uh, vocal about their 
hopes supporting Tim Henman and Greg Rosetsky in this championship. They're so desperate they accepted Rosetsky as a Brit. You know. get, get another chance. Arthur's continuing to plug away with that. I, I must say, awesome looking serve. I guess he unable to even get a racket on it. He mixes it up well, well he, which is exactly what you need to do against Agassi. Hasn't lost the service point in the second set. Making quick work against a man who is renowned for his skill at returning serve. Andre could just get a better read on this serve, make Arthur's work a little harder, because as you pointed out early, Dick, he's a little sluggish up there at net. Not real quick afoot. 40-15 at 1-2 in the second. Ball. Also hope this guy's first serve percentage drops. To all. Log on to MSNBCSports.com, a comprehensive tennis subsection entitled NBC Sports at Wimbledon. Access the latest scores, player interviews from the Wimbledon Channel, plus Chris Everett and Bud Collins provide daily analysis of the top stories. MSNBCSports.com, the official website of NBC Sports. And a reminder of busy day at Wimbledon. We won't be able to cover all the matches in our three hours, but at 11.35 tonight, Tim Ryan will have all the scores and highlights for you. And that time, Agassi got nice and prepared. Feet were in excellent position. You see him eyeing that ball, and he's just got so much power from the baseline. He was able to hit a winner from about four feet behind the baseline. 13-15. Still no service breaks in the match. And Agassi had the lead in the tiebreaker. Let it get away. Oh, what quick hands. Well, look where his approach shot went, too. I mean, that's at the service line. That's not going to scare Agassi a whole lot. Again, Agassi. Three, two. Rolling along on serve, but Wayne Arthurs has the lead. And welcome back to court one at Wimbledon with... John McEnroe and Bud Collins and Chris Everett who will join us later for the women's action of this day and Tim Ryan in our studios. 56% first serves and 80% points won on that first serve. 15. Well, he seems pretty invincible at 56. I'd hate to see him get up any higher. Well, paralyzing first serve. I mean, if, if you're left handed and you can hit a serve that hard out wide that just opens the door for the one up the middle or the slice into the body. Another option to throw at your opponent and you need every, every option possible against Agassi. This match now one hour old. Not surprising. Agassi not known to serve a lot of aces. Big kicker on the second serve. The courts have played firm, Dick. The weather was excellent the first week. This is the first real delay in play. Ball is still bouncing up quite high, and as you pointed out, he's got a lot of action on that serve. Heavy serve. A little feel as well. Even when Agassi saw it, he was going to hit the drop ball. He couldn't get to it. Because it was well placed. So you combine some power and placement, and you're a tough grass court player. Next, Mr.
three service games in the set and Arthur's has relinquished only one point. Oh. And amazingly with the power and the variety of serves he's in control no double faults just one in the first set. That was a play I expected to see Agassi do sooner go right at him. Put some heat his way. He's not doing a whole lot with the volleys and Agassi just does the old I'm going to hit it as hard as I possibly can right at my opponent. It works. Game up. An easy hold again for Wayne Arthur as it's three all. If they thought he heard a let, no call. Here for 22 years now, the Rolex clock has truly become a Wimbledon tradition. It's 3.40 in the afternoon. You're watching live our Monday coverage. This match, one hour and two minutes old. Agassi now at three all. You're just joining us. Wayne Arthurs won the opening set of seven points to five in the tiebreak. Well, you're going to see more of that the second week. Uh, balls that take bad hops, just like it did. Arthur's about to crank a forehand. Suddenly, it kicked up about a foot higher than he expected. Not surprisingly, total miss hit. These courts get beat up in a hurry. I guess he gets that first serve and he'll be in good shape. game at three all. So far this has all the earmarks of another tie break <laughs> doesn't it. Neither return are able to make much of a dent. by Arthur's we pointed out Arthur's hasn't lost sir we also point out he's only broken twice so he doesn't expect to break a whole lot Agassi's he's the guy that puts pressure on you off the return 40 15 another point for four three He's sort of hoping that uh, his body language would send the ball out, but that ball had the, didn't have anything on it. The ear markings of just dropping in, inside the baseline. Agassi out of position, no chance whatsoever. Much more wind today, and that slice may be held up a bit. Nevertheless, Agassi holds 4 3 in the second. Wayne Arthurs in his big serve at 3-4 in the second. What a return. But Arthurs with another answer. What a pickup. I guess he did an excellent job to get that ball back. That's a heck of a first serve. There's another textbook half volley right there. He stayed nice and low, stayed with it. He's very composed, this Wayne Arthurs. Surprisingly, for a guy that's gone through the qualifying and has been an, at best a journeyman his whole career. His claim to fame here, uh, Dick, is that he's got to the quarterfinals of the mixed last year. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're going to get to the 16s of the men's, that's for sure. And the winner of this will meet either Lorenzo Manta, another long shot qualifier from Switzerland, or Gustavo Kirten, the Brazilian in the quarterfinals. That will be on Wednesday. Kierton, we'll another guy who until that match, they had started the match with the rain delay, did lose his serve once, who hadn't lost his serve coming into the fourth round, which is amazing, considering Gustavo the clay court player. 
they still have not gone back out in the court. Not Maybe very that. encouraging for Andre Agassi fans. That's the fourth service game for Arthur's in this second set, and Agassi has managed only two points. Well, we know the great Wimbledon win in 92. Great semifinal match with Becker in 95. A couple quarters. One and three. Ninth appearance for you, quick. Kierton fans. Kierton is down 5 4 on serve. First set has not yet resumed play. And Manta has a couple of set points uh, when they do resume. Agassi surprisingly almost seems more hesitant to get the net here on grass than he did at the French, but he showed he has some, can play quite well at the net like he does on that point. Weak return by Arthur's there. Well, other than the opening game of the set when uh, Agassi was taken to deuce, this has just been a quick trip for every server. shot there. I mean, he made the right play, chipped charred, had the shot he wanted, and missed it by a mile. You can see why he doesn't break a whole lot either. It's England's midsummer picnic, and they're excited about their chances on the men's side with Tim Henman and Greg Rosetsky, young and old, with high hopes that uh, this might finally be the year after 63 summers without a champion, men's champion. Meanwhile, Wayne Arthurs trying to protect the set at 4-5. Let's see what happens in this game. Agassi gets a second serve. Yeah, Arthur tries to serve into the body, but Agassi steps to the side and rips a forehand winner. Love 15. First time he's had love 15 in the set. Let's see what happens with the Arthur's first serve here in this game. It's about time the guy started getting tight. Almost got tight on that forehand volley. Just dropped inside the baseline. It was an excellent first serve. See Agassi off the court. Arthur's uh, made that one pretty easily. And that takes some guts to take that much off the serve. I mean, that couldn't have been hit more than 80, 90 miles an hour, but totally fooled Agassi. You saw him way in front of him. He had to try to stop himself and really couldn't do it. That's exactly what you want to do. See that last one it clocked in at about 93. And then he 14, fires 18. the big one. Well done by Wayne Arthurs. Five service games, John, in the set, and he's allowed just three points. And pounding those aces at Agassi. You're talking about the gains. We keep saying the game's best returner. He just can't even make a dent so far. I, I, I still expect this to change, but I'm getting Martha. so far, no. Okay. Five all we go. He certainly got Agassi thinking. That's for sure. He's set under his belt already. Five all. This is tension time for the French Open champ. Doesn't want to get two sets to love down here. Next. Oh. See, 
That's what I expect him to do each and every time. Just make Agassi come up with the pass. He couldn't do it there. Don't sit there and rally with Andre. So now it is Arthur's who gets a low 15 start. Agassi completely fooled. Didn't put a lot on that back end. Thought the chip charge was coming, but no. Thank you. Arthur's thinking beautifully out there. Meanwhile, Agassi serving just over 47%. And he's rushing again, Dick. It can't be more than four or five seconds between serves. We have that one. It's a high percentage play in a forehand cross court. Pulled it wide, got a little tight. Third he needs to pick up that first serve percentage, win some easy points like he did there. And Brad Gilbert, his coach, trying to <laughs> look relaxed. <laughs> Gonna have a tougher time if Andre loses a set. Another second serve. So Agassiz took a little extra off that second serve. And now a point from 6-5 here in the second. Seem destined for another tiebreak. Bad news for Andre Agassi. Wayne Arthur's 7-6 in the tiebreak, seven points to five, and now serves at 5-6. Agassi able to win only three points off his serve in this set in five games. And it's quite apparent now that the tiebreaker is Wayne's world. <laughs> <laughs> 15 working overtime. The kicker out wide. Agassi nowhere near that second serve. Aggressive second serve as well. Confident. And that low volley has been pretty impressive. points from the tie break. He knows where the ball is coming. He's very tough. Got to keep this young Australian guessing. I should say young. I guess it's sort of old for tennis at 28. Like quickly to 40 love. Crafty left-handed pitcher. You just never know what you're going to get. He's got the fastball. He's got the changeup. He's got a big curve. That time Agassi gets one right down the middle and has a winner. To me, it's almost an easier motion than even Rizetsky or even Izovich. We expect bomb after bomb coming off their racket. He has uh, what appears to be even more variety. Not as much zip. A little less on the power department, but awful tough nonetheless. Not coincidentally, all of them are left-handed. Tough to deal with. The old lefties. They say we have the edge, we'd be happy to take it. Well, for the first time in the entire set, Agassi has taken two points on Arthur's serve, 40-30. Uh, we should mention, obviously, these two guys have never played. By now, you'd figure Andre had figured out this guy's serve, but not yet, apparently. Let's see if can do something here. He won the last two points. Probably barely ever seen the guy play, much less, much less played him. Okay, and do a tie break. Again, 
Wayne Arthurs has been absolutely brilliant in the tiebreakers. Eight and one career here at Wimbledon, but if you go back through the qualifying, he's 12 of the last 13. I guess he's not too bad either. Was that 10 out of 13 or 10 and 13? Gotta get verification. <laughs> Ten and thirteen. So take that back. That's pretty mediocre. The player of Andre's caliber gets the first point of this breaker. More importantly, I don't think he's too concerned with those stats at the moment. He needs to find a hole in that big serve of Arthur's, who doesn't. Uh, Hurt himself with double faults. One off. Plenty of aces. And different than Clay in the fact that he can't work his way into some points and make that extra effort. The points end so quickly with Arthur's. He's having trouble building his confidence right now. Arthur's with the ace up the middle. Net, second serve. <laughs> Even on the lead cord, it finds the service box. Only one double fault, Arthur's, and none in this set. Oh, there's a sign of tension. Overran that volley. Definitely a makeable and should have been a winning volley for Arthur's instead of Agassi at 2 1. Uh, the mini break to Agassi. He took the lead twice in the Opening set tie break, but Arthur's rallied back and finally took the breaker 7 5. Well, he made up for it quickly. Took a page out of Agassiz's book. Good depth on the return and knife away that volley a la Tony Roach. The great old Aussie now working at Davis Cup in Australia. Another left hander. You southpaws stick together, <laughs> yeah, don't sure you? Sure do. And the second serves are killing Agassi, opening the door for Arthur's. Couldn't have played that any better. Finally, the chip charge. Look where this bounces. Right inside the line. Agassi still comes up with the goods. That may have been one of the biggest shots he's hit today. Yeah, mark that one. That was uh, for uh, Wayne Arthur's lead at 3 2. Now they're on serve, and Arthur's gets his two chances from the far end. A little switch after this point. the second set tiebreaker they change ends and we remind you tomorrow join NBC right here at the famed grass courts of the Old England Club for the world's most prestigious tennis championship Wimbledon it'll be the women's quarterfinals two hours live from uh, Wimbledon 10 a.m. Eastern time delayed on the West Coast to 9 a.m. all the way to breakfast at Wimbledon live Saturday and Sunday the women's final at 9 Saturday, the men's on Sunday at 9 Eastern Time. Four, three, Again, an overpowering oh. serve from Wayne Arthurs. Keeps the pressure on Agassi, leading by a set. On serve here, tiebreaker second set. When you see a guy play like this who's 28, you wonder where was he the That's last right. eight, 10 years? He did have some injury problems. Oh. He's certainly not known for his passing shots. He tried to pull an Agassi body weight going the wrong way. Very few players can do that the way Agassi can. And first serve 
it helps. I have the feeling that uh, what he's done to Agassi so far has put him in a guessing game, and so far Andre has not really guessed right very often. That's a bad position to be in, Dick, when you're guessing where the ball's going to come. I mean, that's not what you want to be thinking, that you have to guess. That's a bad, bad predicament. He gets a second serve. Oh. And it's wide, and Andre Agassi now with a set point. Six, four, yeah, finally got the second serve and he took advantage. Next person. Two points for Agassi to square this match at once at all. deep enough so Agassi now has a chance to serve it out. Right, he's really got to focus here. Forget that first set point. That was on Arthur's serve. He's got his own serve here. Get a good solid first serve in and take control of this point. Even this match right here. And happily he's taking his time. Does not I repeat want to get down two sets to love. There we go. One set all. Wayne Arthurs and Andre Agassi. Seven points to five in the breaker. And welcome back to Wimbledon at court one. Andre Agassi up two sets to one. Held to open this fourth set. And it's 15 love Arthurs. Well, you can imagine with three breaks in the third set, Agassi's picked up his return game. Arthur's suddenly desperate to hold, which we didn't think we'd be saying. He needs to hold here at love one in the fourth, 30 love, and looks more settled once again. In case you're just joining us, Agassi lost the first set to Arthur's. Seven points to five in the tie break. Returned the favor in the second set tie break. Also 7-5. And then uh, pounded uh, Arthur's uh, big serve to a 6-1 win in the third. But Arthur's holds at love here. And it's one all in the fourth. One game over. Andre Agassi. Can he follow up that tremendous win in Paris with... His second Wimbledon title. He certainly, we saw him yesterday on our program uh, from Wimbledon. Very confident, relaxed. He's knows he's a, playing well. He's got a great draw. I mean, let's face it, this is a good round of 16 to play Kirton, who's now up two sets to love, or Lorenzo Monta. That's to reach the semis. Either Becker, Raft, or even Izevich Martin would be a semifinal opponent. So he, <laughs> you got to like Andre's chances to get at least to the seventh. Oh. And of course, uh, we'll have four hours of coverage of the men's semifinals on Friday, start the 4th of July weekend. Kirton, by the way, who's Agassi's probable next opponent, up two sets to love and a break at 2-1 against Mata, so he's looking good. We understand now, uh, with all the interest, we're going to have five hours <laughs> of coverage for you on Friday. That should cover one courier match if he's in. Yeah, it looks as if he's determined to get Hinman where he wants him in a five-setter. Exactly. Agassi. He wants to get this over in four. Oh. 
14-15. Now, as I said earlier, Arthur's is going to win any points trading ground strokes with Agassi. Get that fanny into net. Net does Adjustment there. He fooled Agus. I think Andre thought that ball was going long. He had enough top spin on it to drop well inside the baseline. So he's much better when he's stepping into the ball. Good footwork there. Okay, but Agassi holds 2-1 in the fourth set. Agassi up two sets to one. Back at Wimbledon, that's the giant viewing area outside court one, and it leads us to our Aflac trivia question. What's the best result ever by a qualifier in men's singles at Wimbledon? We'll give you the answer after our next commercial break. Qualifiers are playing a prominent role in the first week here. Wimbledon, including Wayne Arthurs. Henman, by the way, saved the break point first game of the third set. Up one love. And Creer had a real chance to take that game. 30 love. Well, we went away from Arthur's for a set, and when you see him serving now again, you're slightly surprised that Agassi broke him three times. You figured sooner or later Andre would get onto the serve. At the moment Arthur's looks back and forth. Well, he held it. Love to open this fourth set. He hasn't allowed a point here in this game. Agassi's probably thinking, hey, NBC, go back to that center court. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come back when I won. Well done. It's 2-1. Two 2-2, -one. Two -two, rather. 2-all. Two Two-game two -all. I guess he a bit too nice of a guy there. I thought he was going to take a swing at him, go right at him. Probably figured he was down 40 love anyway. He'll save it for a more important point if necessary. See, I've never seen that quickness from Agassi. He looked hopelessly out of that point. Arthur's volley clipped the net, and Agassi scooted over Chang-like and made a good play on oh, a top spin lob, took control of the point. He is moving so well now, Andre. Wonderfully fed. He admitted to us yesterday that he lost 15, 20 pounds. He works two to three hours a day just on his conditioning, weight work, running, running up hills backwards just to uh, get himself in shape for the French Open, and that certainly paid off, and he's showing it here at Wimbledon as well. Just why. Other results coming in. Pialine Kucher at a set all. And uh, back at center court, it's one all in the third set. Tied to the set all, Henman and Courier. Dokic Pierce about to go on the court. <laughs> that little girl who beat Hingis Four first three round. Kirton at 3-2, serving in the third, up two sets. Will be Agassi's next opponent, assuming they both pull these matches out. That's a match expected on clay, not the quarterfinals at Wimbledon. Good effort by Gustavo. Game Agassi. And Agassi is held. They're on serve in the third. Agassi leads two sets to one. We're back with the answer to our Aflac trivia question. The best result ever by a qualifier in men's singles at Wimbledon was 22 years ago when a teenager from America, John McEnroe, lost to Jimmy Connors in the semifinals. Actually, McEnroe had uh, won enough uh, matches to win a title. That uh, won uh, eight. Had won eight. <laughs> Hadn't lost my serve the entire. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Who would remember? So was that uh, 
extraordinarily beyond your wildest expectations, or were you cocky enough at that time to think you could well, play that Well, believe deep? it or not, it was extraordinarily beyond my imaginations. I entered only in the juniors, played the qualities, had some extra time to kill. You know, USDA in those days didn't have coaches or you know, sent you over the French. Stay over there through Wimbledon. Good luck. <laughs> so they, the USTA has come a long way. They got a lot of coaches. They're, you know, take care of their people a lot better. Now we just need to see some more youngsters out there getting the job done. 15 over. Possible serve return for a righty there, or for probably for a lefty for that matter. That's slice out wide. 25 to 2 in aces. And yet Arthur's trails down a set. Tagacy leads two sets to one. The round serve here, 2 3 in the fourth. He doesn't want to show Agassi second serves. Agassi's figured out that uh, he's the boss now when Arthur gets a second serve in. Well, clipped the back of the line. Agassi had no problems. Just pulls it cross court for a winner. He's two points from another break. Finish Arthur's off. That forehand really coming into play now for Agassi. A lot of winners. And there's that big swing slice serve for number 26. He's got to respect the big one up the middle. We see Arthur's got that. So Arthur's takes something off it, slices it right on the line. That's just uh, that's just too good. He's uh, averaged uh, 25 aces per match, his first three outings, and he's surpassed that against Agassi. That's, that's totally complimentary when you can uh, rack up that kind of ace total against Agassi's reserving, receiving talent. 14-13. And have the guts to go out to the forehand on the second serve there. Fooling Agassi, 40-30. Meanwhile, Penman has held. They're on serving the third. And here a point from three all is Wayne Arthurs. Game. Arthurs. Hit the same serve three times in a row there. That, on top of everything else, took a bad hop. No chance for Agassi, three all. Approaching uh, the five o'clock hour, just after uh, tea time in England. And we're pleased you're with us live from the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. Andre Agassi, one of four Americans in the final 16. <laughs> Trying to make it a 4th of July celebration. The colonists here in uh, <laughs> the, the old country. First beat Sampras, the defending champion and the number one seed. The favorite uh, coming into Wimbledon, Todd Martin is advanced, along with uh, Andre Agassi and Jim Courier. That's the four you expected to be in the 16s. Maybe Courier being the exception on grass. Huge wins over Carlos Moya and the monumental effort over Shalkin. Agassi scooping that up, which it appeared to be at his Sneakers, the way he hit that backhand pass. Another forehand winner to 30 love. Talk about getting down for a ball. Wow. 40 love. And Agassi, throughout this championship, John, his, when he gets that first serve in, it's tough. It's heavier than people realize, and he can dictate play with the big grounders. He doesn't even need to he serve off. Agassi. He holds it love, 4 3 in the four. On serve in the fourth here at court one. Andre Agassi leading two sets to one over Wayne Arthurs. Here are the 99 match records. Agassi with the best percentage, but Gustavo Quertin, who appears to be Agassi's match, if they both uh, should go on to win as they are now leading, has more wins than anyone on tour this year. Well, Wayne Arthurs with that big serve after uh, three breaks of that potent weapon in the last set has gotten it back together. 30 long. And uh, Courier holds that love. It's two all in the third, a set apiece at center court. Here 
here at court one. Kim Kleister's uh, scheduled to meet Steffi Groff in the next match. Well, he, uh, he was up there in plenty of time, but pulled it wide. Arthur's breathes a sigh of relief. 40 love. Kleister is an unfamiliar name. She's only 16, the youngest in the entire championship, man or woman, at the start. And she's made it to the fourth round and will take on the French champion Groff and the seven-time Wimbledon holder from Germany. And another love hold for Wayne Arthurs. It's for all. When we're watching this match, we left it. It's incredible that uh, Arthur's lost serve three times. How, how did this happen? I guess he wished he could have spread it out a little bit. Right. Better. Yeah, maybe one in the third, a couple here in the fourth, but it's not going to be that easy for Andre. Two tiebreakers already, and that's been the pattern for Arthur's. Uh, tough to break his serve, and then he doesn't have great success in breaking his no, opponents, no. but he gets into a tiebreak, a shortened uh, opportunity, and the serve comes into play for him. Kierton just lost his serve, serving for the match. Now five all in the third. Fifteen. Love. Needs it with more depth than that. I guess he'll eat those alive. We were talking about his serve uh, Agassiz, John, and he was pretty proud of uh, the fact he's getting some uh, serves up in the 120s. A little uh, bigger pop. That may be a testimony to his fitness as well. No question about that. The second serve is the one thing that's a liability. That's the, th that's the shot you can take advantage of. And you better believe as the tournament progresses that his opponents will try to do that. Although Kierton is not that type of player. So he'll be the heavy favorite against Gustavo. That's my favorite shot that Andre hits. He hits that so well normally. He just was indecisive, waited too long. With any shot, you got to get ready to hit it right away. He comes in. He's got Arthur's in trouble, but at the last second, he decides to try the backhand overhead. And don't wait till it's too late. He'll make that shot 99 times out of 100. Now, he and Jim Courier uh, produced this inside-out forehand with such tremendous effectiveness and result. 40-15. That's about as bad a point as you'll see Agassi play. I mean, to come in, sort of have by then scoot back to the baseline, that was Andre and the juniors. And then come in like this. He's got loads of time. And then he, instead of taking the two hands and taking a swing at it like he could have, he tries some dipsy do or what I don't even know what you call that. It's not in the, the dictionary. Well, he has some it, it shots. It was awful, but... nonetheless. Still up 40 30. See, Arthur's taking advantage of that weak second serve, chipped at a short. That's better than chipping around the service. I go real short or real deep. Now at Deuce. A dicey moment for Agassi at Deuce. Should Arthur's break him, he'd be serving for the fourth set. And another second serve. Oh, he's hurrying again. See, that's the one that's not where you want to hit it. Advantage. That way he can take a step forward, have plenty of time to decide what option he'd like to utilize. Plays the safe one. Cross court, make sure he gets it in. Arthurs can't control the volley. Game, Agassi. By four on serve in the fourth. We're back and a good. Return off a tough serve by Agassi. Love 15 here at 4-5 in the fourth. And Agassi just three points from victory if... You know, Arthur's looked like a qualifier there. He really butchered that half volley. Horrible footwork. Needs a couple big serves. Oh. 
This is when those legs start getting a little heavy. Elbow starts tightening up just a touch. I guess he's been there so many more times than Arthur's. Yep, left oh. turning. You can smell it. The end is near. Blistering backhand return. Love 30. Arthur's better come up with something special here if he wants to stay in this match. Arthur's dominating on serve. Agassi dominating with the backhand. Give him credit for a big first serve there. 50, 30. 30. Give him credit for a big first serve there. Meanwhile, at center court, they continue to roll on serve. Henman and Courier, 4-3 in the third set. And that will bring Andre Agassi a match point. 30, 40. Thank you. And he gets a second serve. Please. How's that for a shot, eh? Great lob that pleases the Agassi camp. He's through in four tough sets against Wayne Arthurs. 6-7, 7-6, Agassi in the quarters, where his most likely opponent will be Brazilian Gustavo Quirton. Agassi finally getting his way on the return of serve, but that was one heck of a shot. Arthur did a great job getting it back. Agassi with the Drenel drop shot winner and a trip to the Wimbledon quarterfinals. So the magic of this summer in Europe continues for the 29-year-old from Las Vegas, the French Open champion. A surprise, a victor there on the red clay of Roland Garros and now in the lawns of Wimbledon. Agassi continues the march perhaps for another Grand Slam title. He's in the last eight. And we'll return to center court Wimbledon right after these words.